Since the 1970s, the town of Atlantis on the dry west coast of South Africa has relied on an innovative process whereby stormwater and treated domestic wastewater is transferred underground to be stored in an aquifer for future use. The CSIR has provided technical and scientific support to this project called the Atlantis Water Supply Scheme for more than three decades. Uh, water scarcity and uh, especially the fact that water is uh, unevenly distributed uh, is uh, one of the major uh, problems that we're facing in the country. One of the possible strategies to uh, address this problem is reuse or recycling of water and this is one of the strategies that CSIR is adopting. Excess water during the rainy season is generally stored in dams. In this particular project, CSIR is adopting a, a technology where this excess water is stored underground, where uh, the water is injected or uh, infiltrated into the aquifer. The aquifer is a geological layer, which can be, for example, a deposit of sand, which has the capability to hold a lot of water. In this way, the water is stored underground and the evaporation losses of water are prevented. Atlantis, with its population of about 70,000 people, is located 50 kilometers north of Cape Town and forms part of the metropolitan area of Cape Town. It was declared a new growth point in the 1970s and the previous government wanted to attract industries to the area. As the west coast is semi-arid, the initial plan was to import surface water from the Berg River system, located 70 kilometers away, as a permanent water source. However, this pipeline was postponed and the Department of Water Affairs and Forestry started to develop the area's local groundwater sources instead. This initiative developed into the Atlantis Water Supply Scheme, which pioneered the use of artificial groundwater recharge in Southern Africa. This practice is known as managed aquifer recharge. The Atlantis Water Supply Scheme includes a water purification system. Uh, wastewater from the wastewater treatment plant and uh, from uh, uh, the stormwater system is collected first and diverted into uh, basin number six, which is an artificial uh, wetland. From then on, the water is conveyed to uh, basin seven and 12 which collect the water, they infiltrate it into the aquifer where it travels at a speed of about 100 meters per year. In the process, contaminants are diluted, retarded and degraded. Water is then pumped from the Vitsant well field, treated to drinking water quality and delivered to the users. The city of Cape Town, the municipality, is responsible for the operation of the Atlantis water supply scheme. The Atlantis water supply scheme is a drinking water supply system, so it is absolutely essential to reduce any possible risk of uh, contamination uh, of the water in the system. The CSIR provides support in uh, management of this system. Uh, we provide support through the monitoring program, the monitoring of water quality. Uh, we assist in preparation of uh, uh, risk management plans. Uh, we assist in drafting uh, an operating uh, manual uh, for, for the system and we also run uh, modeling scenarios with computer models to try and predict uh, what could go wrong in the system and what measure to put in place in order to prevent these risks. Atlantis Water Supply Scheme forms part of the Greater Cape Town Water Supply. What we're doing at the Atlantis Water Supply Scheme is supplying water to all in Atlantis, be it the industrial area where you find your factories and your industries, and also to the residents of Atlantis. The treatment method that we apply at the Atlantis Water Scheme is that we're getting water out of the aquifer via our borehole system, which we pump to our treatment plant, where we soften the water for drinking purposes and also to be used in the industrial process. In order to make the water safe, we do a number of laboratory tests and see that we comply to the South African national standards. Groundwater is an important source of water for many villages, towns and farms across South Africa. As our water requirements increase, there will be more demand placed on our aquifers, which is why the CSRR and its partners in government are committed to optimize the ways 
whereby these natural water reservoirs can be topped up and protected for the future.